What's going on guys? Welcome to the next Facebook tutorial for Android and we're going to add some swagger to our simple posts and get a little image, you know, link and caption and description so it makes our, our post look legit. Um, so that's, this is kind of what I'm talking about, create something like this. And if you guys hear a little like growling or like a little baby Chewbacca in the background, I'm house sitting for my sister right now and they have two little dogs and they keep wrestling so that's probably what you're hearing. It's this guy right here. So anyways, uh, let's jump into the tutorial and get started. Again, it's going to be pretty simple to get everything that we need going. All we need to do is create a new bundle and add some extra parameters to our dialog post to the feed listener. So let's create a new bundle within our button click uh, or our post button click. So we're going to say uh, bundle and we're just going to call this params because pretty much every example uses params so I'm just going to stick with the norm there. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is add some stuff to our params, add some strings. This is going to tell Facebook what we want, what kind of swagger we want. So we're going to refer to our bundle and then we're going to say put string. Everything's going to be a put string, a reference, a key reference, and a value. So this, this instead of pulling information from Facebook, now we're sending Facebook information with certain key references. Uh, just like before we referred to the ID and it would send us, send us back some information about the Facebook ID. It's kind of the same concept except this time uh, we're posting stuff within the bundle that we start up. So for example, uh, just to put the caption, we're going to put the code as caption here and then we can just say uh, Facebook SDK tutorials something like that and I have to put that in quotations as well because we're putting a string so obviously you want to put a string for our caption so again caption needs to be caption because um, that's what Facebook's expecting for the caption reference this can be whatever you guys want so what you want your caption to be and that's kinda how it works so let's just copy this parameter uh, or the string into our bundle and the next one that we're going to refer to is the description so we're going to refer to description and for our description we're going to say uh, this tutorial uh, series is really awesome or whatever you guys want alright and let's create another one we're going to paste and this will be our link so we actually will have our post linked up to a website and again simple coding there and see there's the growling I'm talking about simple code uh, just of a link and then whatever link we want to post or whatever link we want to open up when the user clicks it so again my example is my bring back com it's as easy as that alright so we also have our name that's probably the first one we should have done just you know most likely we want the, the application name so my bring back tutorials for our name of our application and lastly let's add a picture to our post as well so we're gonna say picture again these are the key references that you guys need a name caption description link or picture and you don't have to use all of them but again you can you can put some extra stuff in there according to what you guys want your post to look like and for the picture uh, we aren't gonna relate to like a bitmap or anything that we stored in our application we're actually gonna get a uh, picture from the internet so uh, for the example I use I'm gonna go to my bring back just right click on like an image on your web website and go to copy image URL and then we're just gonna paste that within our picture reference uh, so it's just kind of a, a simple way to get our picture from the internet again with picture and then lastly all we have to do is once we call this dialogue listener we want to add all of this information or this bundle that we set up here to our post or to our dialogue uh, of the news feed. And you do that by adding a fourth parameter because right now we have three parameters, the context, where we, what we want to do, which is our feed, and our dialogue listener. But adding an extra bundle like we set up here, you want to do that as your third parameter. So we're going to say params here and then a comma. So when you add extra stuff to a post, for example, it's going to be your third parameter again. So we have context, feed, our parameters, and then our dialog listener. All right, so let's test this out, make sure it's looking good. Uh, we're going to run, and hopefully we won't get any errors. And I'll post the source code after this one as well, uh, if you guys are following along. So 
internet's pretty slow here but yeah it looks like we have everything set up again our our name which is my bring back tutorials our caption which is Facebook SDK tutorials our description this tutorial series is really awesome via app testing which is again our Facebook application we set up and our picture reference again you can click and post something to the wall uh, I probably don't want to keep posting stuff because all my friends will be annoyed with me posting stuff with uh, app testing but anyways uh, that's how that works so looks like everything let's test our link as well uh, it, it looks like it's working so that's pretty much it for this tutorial again really simple working with this Facebook SDK